we're like really the generation that's like pushing forward changes and shit. Mm -hmm. You know, like you know, we're cleaning up. We're cleaning up like a lot of bullshit from past generations. We don't really have like a solid blueprint of like what to do either. So we're all just kind of winging it. Yeah. Like even even the whole doxing people and shit. Oh my god! You see Scott Jackson shit? Yeah. <laughs> They, bro, the meme she community. Was, she was wilding. Bro. Like she had good intentions no, with it. At it first, was... at first, because because this will happen. I think I remember. I remember when that shit first happened too. She docked some some random racist people, like some real racist white kids. And Twitter, like cancel culture, was like like sizing her up. Like yeah, Scott, like get him, Scott. Like she was exposing. So like yeah. she was exposing people back to back. Couple days, it got it got. I guess I feel like they sized her head so much that it got out of hand. That she seen the guacamole nigga penis shit. And I didn't see, know I that see. it was a meme. <laughs> and she was like, "You know what? Let me, let me, let me dox this person, <laughs> bro. That was the stupidest shit to do. Guacamole nigga penis, bro. They are on her ass, bro, boy. The meme community is I, the meme community is real life. Wait, cancer, what, is single handedly canceling her right now. What, what meme even was it? Guacamole nigga meme. penis. Um, that's the that's the meme. Um, um, <laughs> that's like, the meme. Um, bro. <laughs> But it's I, random. I, I, it's I a gotta, very random meme. But like, I gotta see. Like, what context would you use it? In? <laughs> Not, nothing. <laughs> there is no context of the meme. You just use it whenever. Fuckery. It's just his own standout fuckery. Yes, shit. bro. bro that, that shit was a meme when, what, bro? What, what year was that? It was probably like our eleventh or twelfth grade year. That's when that shit was really popping. <laughs> I just remember Guacamole like like she really like, revived because it was dead. That that meme was dead. She revived the meme. She revived the meme. She brought that shit back. She brought that shit back for and Doc's. That was a whole new meaning. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the fucking um the chant that you yell when you're ready to defend somebody in the meme community. What's we'll like? All her comments, no matter what, she. <laughs> yeah, all her comments, bruh. Bruh, and it's like her fans are trying to help her, but it's too many meme niggas. It's too, it's many. too many meme niggas. <laughs> bro, but like, even that minds, even that style of like, um. Because even though, like, a lot of people. I don't know. I don't know if I want to get this deep into it, but I feel like, you know, like, when you, when you try to, like, excommunicate somebody from civilization and shit, you know, the way that they'll be like dogs and people. Yeah. It's like you don't really allow that person the opportunity to, to change yeah. and become a better person because yeah. everybody has it in them to be a good person. But it's, it's like, like sometimes you just need to be steered in the right direction. Like, yeah. not everybody is fucking Ted Bundy or yeah. you know, like or one of these that people that just is like to the point some, of no some return. Of the, yeah. Some of that shit is stupid. It's like, but a lot of people like, just need more guidance it's, yeah, because it's, they miss something along the way. It's, it's, it's like yeah, it's racist, bro. But like some of these kids are like too young to understand like what yeah. the fuck they're even doing. So like. Are you really going to ruin these niggas' lives for the rest of their career? Because one sh mistake they made is a middle in middle school, bro. Yeah. Like, you know, they probably got their friends influencing them, like peer pressure. Like, they probably just seeing what's cool yeah. to do. I'm just not big on the whole, like, just trying to get rid of that person altogether because yeah. it's just like, like every everybody makes Some mistakes. Build, right? Everybody. Everybody make mistakes. Are we are we going are we going this deep or are we not trying to go this deep? Because oh, I'm ready, but y'all 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 sidetracked by some fucking fun. So maybe this isn't as deep as the conversation that we're we're needing to have. Because I'm ready, but I'm I'm waiting to pull the trigger like shit. I'm dead. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't Damn, trying to get canceled this early. Nah, nah, we don't. That's. That's not getting cancel worthy. Like thinking that people can get, like even even like jails in Sweden and shit. Like when they yeah. arrest you, you yeah. literally start from like, like the way they describe it is like they give you a house, like yeah. a job that's yeah. like working in the prison or something, yeah. and they like basically teach you how to like yeah. go exactly. like work in civilization again. Yeah. So it's like when they get even if they did something like commit murder, in like ten years or so they'll be like retrained into society or whatever mm -hmm. it's like even that like serves more of a purpose than just throwing people in a cage and just yeah. like having them like fight for their lives and shit yeah. like in like rocky regular said, prison that rocky said when he got locked up there like the like the staging area you get before you get a trial 
is like it's trash, but like the actual prisons, like after you get after your trial's done, you're in prison and shit. Like home, he said homeless people like during the winter like get locked up on purpose just so they can go to prison because it's so nice. Yeah, like, you get yeah, PS like niggas got PS fours, got TVs. And, yeah, like homeless like, people would probably be better off in that yeah. jail than like than outside. Yeah. Um, me, my nigga, patting this bitch. We bout to spaz out. Happy running laps in this bitch. We bring them tracks out. Me, my niggas, deep in this bitch. And we can't back out. I be going deep in that bitch. I make a tab out. 